What's going on, YouTube? It's Guys on DJ AKA Cotton Wax Me, another video. So, real quick, before you uh, click off this video, because I know people have a short attention span, I'm guilty of it myself. Go to the description of this video and click the timestamp that I'm going to leave in there to go to the technique that I'm going to tell you about later on in the video. Uh, once you do the technique and you see that it works and you get a feeling from it, uh, come back and promise me you'll watch the rest of the video, okay? So first off, uh, let me talk about a story real quick first. So, you know, people, I, I've i been getting a lot of uh, videos in my YouTube feed where people are talking about, like, you know, how life is not worth living, how they're depressed, how they're sick of working and things like that. And I understand that sentiment. I definitely understand. I sympathize with those people. Uh, but life is definitely worth living. And, you know, they say there's no purpose to life. So why are we even here? You know, that's some of the things people have been saying in some of their videos. And this young black man, uh, young Hispanic dudes, young white dudes, white girls, white black women, all kind of people from all kind of walks of life saying this, having the same sentiment. And uh, I think people miss the point that, you know, the purpose of life is to learn how to love and to learn, you know, to love someone or something at the very least. Uh, even if all you love in your life as a pet you know if you if you're isolated from people or you're not around people that much let's say you have some type of disability and you're stuck in the house you don't go to work to be around people and stuff like that at least love your dog or love your cat or something like that uh you definitely want to love your brothers and sisters and humanity uh but you know just love in general you know is 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 very special and unique to this existence you know what i mean not unique to this existence but that's the purpose of this existence is to learn love and to feel love from other people. You know what I mean? Uh, and then just to experience the gift of life. You know, there's nothing like this reality in all of the planes of existence. You know what I mean? There's nothing like this reality. This is its own reality and it is something to be experienced. Uh, it's something unique that the other planes of existence don't have. And you should enjoy it and, and appreciate it while you have it. And then once it's over, it's over and you move on to the next plane. So uh, to talk about the next plane. So basically, uh, I used to be a cable installer. And uh, I work with a young black dude. I won't say his name, but we worked together. And basically, uh, he told me a story one time about how his brother was like a hardcore gang member, you know. Uh, he gang banged for many years, you know, shooting up the block, you know set tripping on people the whole the whole nine yards and uh and forgive me i'm kind of sick I'm, i have covid so forgive me if i sound kind of funny or my nose sounds stuffed up and things like that but anyway uh the brother was set tripping on the block shooting up people shooting at people drive-bys the whole thing and he got shot in the drive by himself one day and he couldn't and he got rushed to the hospital and was declared clinically dead well the brother told them because he came back to life he told them that when he died, he came up above his body and he could see the doctor and his mom in the hallway crying and the whole scene that was going on where he was at uh, in the hospital dead. And then in the room that he was in, the hospital room, he saw like a pimple of light, like a pimple, a small little pimple of light, you know, and he went towards it and, and it opened up and it pulled him in and he went through this tunnel and, uh, yeah, he went to the other side of the tunnel, and it was like all these entities there. And when when he was in the tunnel, he said he felt like endless love, like so much love, like some love like he's never felt before. You know, he just felt so loved, and just love, 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 love. That was the main thing on his in his consciousness at the moment. He was he felt like he was conscious during this entire experience. You know, but uh, when he got to the other side, he was met by these different entities, maybe people that he knew, relatives that had passed away, they were there, and the uh, entity was there that he he knew was Jesus. He don't know how he knew it, but he knew it was Jesus. And uh, the entity told him, you know, or Jesus told him, it's not your time, my son. And then the people around Jesus, who were his family members and people he knew that had passed, reiterated it to him, it's not your time. And then Jesus like kind of like touched him, and then he went back through the tunnel and then he came back into his body and he jumped up and he was like, I don't know if he was like getting put in the freezer or they were like willing him to 
take him to the morgue, but he scared the technician who was dealing with handling his body to death because he woke up and then he ran and found his mom in the hospital, wherever he was at, and gave her a hug. But then after that, this dude stopped gangbanging. Uh, you know, he uh, loved everybody. He was just a whole different dude from that experience, you know. And I've seen a lot of those near-death experiences on YouTube, and they all are very similar, where people experience light. Uh, some of them see, you know, screens or, 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 or montages of their past lives, even their past lives, not just the current one, but their past life. And they, uh, and they feel they're in a, a light-born uh, uh, environment, you know what I mean? That's kind of what I wanted to talk about uh, in this video a little bit, uh, especially towards my black people, because black people were really, you know, going on a, a severe decline from where our people used to be in terms of throughout the history of humanity. And, uh, you know, we need the right to ship. We need to get it back on track. So, uh, you know, what I would say is that I got some notes here that I've taken from the Bible, right? And, uh, and different different texts you know i read more than just the bible like i've read the emerald tablets of both the atlantean i read books from mammy p hall i've read the cabalion by the four initiates or the three initiates i think it is the three initiates i've read uh just a bunch of different books you know just looking for esoteric and existential information and uh like, let me read this chapter this chapter to you from matthew so this is matthew verse 6 uh matthew chapter 6 verse 22 you can look this up in your own King James Bible or whatever Bible you have. It says the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are good, your whole body will be full of light. If your eyes are bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? So basically, uh, you know, your pineal gland is a gland in your brain and it's called the eye, the third eye. And people call it the window to God. Like I got a book called The Pineal Gland, The Window of God or The Window to God. Uh, the pineal gland is something that people have completely forgotten about in terms of uh, how it's used or what to do with it or even that it exists. There's people walking on this planet that have no idea they even have a pineal gland, you know. Anyway, if you close your eyes like when you're a little kid and use your imagination, if you imagine a white beam of light going into your pineal gland, now just imagine a white beam of light going into your pineal gland from different angles, up, bottom, up from the top, from the side, from the bottom. You know, look look up on YouTube or on the internet or Google where your pineal is in your gland. It's kind of like, or in your brain, it's kind of like right above your eyebrows uh, in the center of your forehead. Kind of like, imagine where the Indians put the dot on their forehead, a lot of the Indians. Uh, that's where your pineal gland will be at in your brain. And just imagine a white beam of light going into that. Imagine your head in front of you and just a white beam of light going into that pineal gland from different angles. And you'll see uh, that you feel an effect or you feel a difference. When I did it, uh, I felt really invigorated. I didn't feel as bad as I was feeling at the time. Uh, it kept me up for a few days, so you might not sleep for a few days, but uh, definitely... You'll, you'll feel a change, you know, and I, I, I meditate on, I call, it, I call it meditating on light, and I do it when I feel lonely, depressed, sad, uh, anxious, I sit in the car at work on my break or something like that, or in the morning before I go to work, or just in general, and I'll meditate on light, and it definitely helps, so I want to share that with you guys today, definitely make sure you do that technique, try it out for yourself, see how it makes you feel, especially my black folks, like I said, anybody can do it. But especially my black people, you really need to figure out something. You know, you don't need marijuana. You don't need Hennessy. Uh, you don't need all these drugs and, and substances to make you feel better. Uh, just meditate on light, you know. So uh, look in the Bible. There's many mentions of instances of light in the Bible. You know, the, there's a kingdom of light. Let me, read this. Let me read this one to you real quick. This is Colossians uh, 1 9 through 12 giving thanks to the father who has qualified you to share in the inher inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of light so the kingdom of light you know light is a gift from God 
you know, and it is where God sits. God, where God sits, there's nothing but light, you know. Uh, so definitely look into that technique that I just mentioned to you. Uh, yeah. So anyway, you know, I'm I'm on the same journey you guys are on. I deal with my own struggles and my own shortcomings. I'm trying to learn how to be a better person every day. Uh, I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to be more patient, be more loving, and all that stuff. But follow my my uh, YouTube channel and or subscribe to it, you know, and uh, check me out. I'm gonna start posting more videos about like esoter esoteric and existential knowledge, just to go on a journey with people. And we can you can leave comments and and reply how you feel about the video I left and stuff like that. But uh, you know, we'll talk back and forth about different things. If you know something that I don't know, share it with me. Share it with other people. Uh, you know, we need to figure things out and learn the truth about our existence and who we are as human beings. And just uh, you know, look forward into doing better and, and, and bettering ourselves. So anyway, uh, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. One love. Peace out.